That's the last okay boomer I'll hear from her. Refilling the ink on my wife's printer today reminded me of this one. It was my final day before I began retirement. Actually, a half day, about 30 minutes before lunch. The new printer for the new gen's receptionist had arrived. I had always made it my duty to unpack and install new computer equipment, because one I could make sure it was done correctly, and two I enjoyed doing it. I brought the printer into the receptionist's office, and told her what I was about to do. She said she could handle it. I said it's my job and my pleasure. She told me she had done it before, and that she did not need a man to do it for her. I asked if it would be okay if I at least unpacked it for the documents inside. She says, okay, boomer. You could hear the snark in her voice, and if she had rolled her eyes any further back, she would have been looking out her ears. So I opened the box, grabbed the shipping docks, and left the instructions and ink bottles nearby. Then I lifted out the printer to make sure everything was there. Opening the little door where the ink is loaded, I saw four stoppers magenta, cyan, yellow, and black, left to right, all in that order. About an hour or so later, my retirement luncheon was interrupted by a phone call to my now former boss. Big problem. The new printer was printing all kinds of weird colors, and the receptionist could not figure out what was wrong. The boss asked if I had any suggestions. I told him she's smart enough to handle it, and that she didn't need an old boomer like me to do it for her. The boss relayed my comments to her word for word, made a few suggestions of his own, hung up, turned to me and asked what could be wrong. Maybe she mixed up the colors when she was loading the inks. I found out later that the receptionist got scolded for not letting me do my job one last time so that it would have been done right. She also got scolded for obviously not following the instruction manual. The boss kept her on anyway. All it took was shifting the colored caps one reservoir to the right and putting the black cap on the far left reservoir. No color printers were damaged during the commission of this petty revenge.